HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is the language in which web pages are written. Now, it's not a programming language, because it doesn't allow us to express logic like for loops and while loops and conditions and the like. Rather, it's indeed a markup language that allows us to specify what a web page should look like structurally and aesthetically. And it does so by way of what are called tags. Let's dive in and make the simplest of web pages, one that simply says, for instance, hello world. Notice here in gedit that I've already saved the file as hello.html. And notice down here in the terminal window that I appear to be inside of a directory called public, which itself is inside of a directory called localhost, which itself is inside of a directory called vhosts, which itself is inside of John Harvard's home directory. Now it turns out, because of the way we've configured the appliance, which is in as real world away as possible, anything inside of this public directory should indeed be accessible to the whole public via a web browser, even though right now I'm the only user who's going to be accessing this web page. Let's now return to hello.html and start writing some of that language. First, atop this file, I'm going to specify open bracket, exclamation point, doc type, space, HTML. This line isn't a tag per se, even though it does begin with an open bracket, but it instead is a special one line fragment that specifies to a browser, here comes a web page written in HTML. Let's next, on a line of its own, specify open bracket HTML, indicating to the browser that here indeed is that HTML. Inside of that, let's indent a bit and then do head, specifying to the browser, here comes the head of the page, which for now assume is essentially the title bar, the very top of the browser's window. Let's next specify inside of that head tag that we'll have a title of something simple like hello. But now, let's tell the browser we're done providing a title. To do that, just as we opened or started the tag title a moment ago, let's now close or end that tag by specifying, in effect, the opposite. To express that, we do open bracket forward slash title. Similarly, now that we're done defining for now the head of this page, we'll do open bracket slash head, telling the browser that we're now done providing the head. Only one portion now remains, the so-called body of the web page, which really constitutes the essence of any web page. Let's specify that here it's beginning with open bracket body, close bracket, and let's now write something like hello, comma, world. Feels like this is a good enough web page, so let's now move to a new line, specify open bracket, forward slash body, informing the browser that we're done providing the body. And similarly, let's now inform the browser that I'm done providing a web page. On a line of its own, we'll do open bracket, forward slash, HTML. Now notice the aesthetics of this web page. Even though technically it's not required to provide as much white space as I did, it's good style because the code is arguably much more readable. Notice in particular that when I open or start a tag, I then indent in the lines that follow. And when I close or end a tag, I close that tag either on the same line, if it's a fairly short line, or on a new line in such a way that the close tag lines up with the open tag, much like we did in a language like C with open and close curly braces. Let's now save this file and try to open it in a web browser inside of the appliance. Let's open up Chrome and let's now visit http colon slash slash localhost, which is a nickname for the appliance itself, slash hello.html. And notice that I've not actually typed public because it's implied that if visiting this page via a web browser, you indeed want to access the contents of that public directory. But I do want to access specifically hello.html. So let's now hit Enter and see what happens. Hmm. I don't have permission to access slash hello.html on this server. Now, why might that be? Well, it turns out it's not sufficient to simply put this file, hello.html, in that public directory. We also need to proactively tell the appliance that we indeed want to allow the whole world, potentially, to access this file. To do so, we need to change its permissions, so to speak, and we can do that at a command line. Let's type ls-l to get a long listing of the files in this directory, enter, and we see indeed hello.html. But over here on the left notice is an R and a W. The R, as you might have guessed, means read, and the W means write. But the fact that there's only one such R and one such W all the way over to the left of those dashes means that only the file's owner, myself, can actually read and write this file. We need to toggle at least one other R to let the whole world read this file as well. And to do this, we can do so with the command chmod for change mode. chmod A for all plus R space hello.html enter. Nothing seems to have happened, but that's generally a good thing. So ls-l again 
should hopefully yield some additional R's. And indeed, we do see such. On the left-hand side here now, notice that I have read and write privileges. There's another R and then another R. Well, it turns out the R in the middle means my group, which happens to be students in the appliance, can also read this file. But that's largely irrelevant here, since we're talking about the web and not the appliance itself. But that third R, all the way on the right, indicates that the whole world, or all, can read this file. Let's now go back to my browser, reload the page, and see if I'm no longer forbidden. Let's click Chrome's reload icon up here, or hit Control-R. And there we have it, Hello World.